Welcome to SW Box. I'm Neil, and today I have a BlackBerry 8520. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to do an LCD change. Okay, in case it breaks or what have you. Now, with the Blackberries, as always, there's more than one LCD for the same phone. What that means is, as far as I understand it, they decided for different regions would have different LCDs. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Now, on the LCD that's on your phone, there'll be a code. I know for a fact as is 005, so that's the one I'm going to use. Okay? And what you're looking for is something similar to this. Sometimes they hide it under a sticker or what have you, but normally there'll be somewhere that tells you what code that you need. Okay? There's also a sticky patch here. You have to take off the uh, film, plastic film, and then there is a sticking patch there which helps stick it to the motherboard. And then of course you've got the, the protection one on the front as well you must remove. Okay, like I said, um, obviously LCDs are, are different depending on the phone, so you've got to take it apart first before you order anything. All you need is a torque screwdriver and a pry tool, okay, or you can use like a spatula or even a blunt knife if you're careful. First thing you're going to do is remove this screen here. I'm going to use a heat gun, but you can also use a hair dryer, okay? I'm just going to heat it up all the way around. I'll set this heat gun on 120 degrees Celsius. But if you're using a hair dryer, just take your time. It will do exactly the same thing. All I want to do is soften up the, the adhesive, the glue underneath this that holds it on. got to be careful with these screens because there's two layers to them. So let's just leave that out of the way. That should turn off in a second. I'm going to start at the top here. Okay? As you can see, mine's been off a few times. But they still get stuck down quite heavily. There we go. Okay, it's difficult to see but on this one, but there is two layers to this. And if you separate them, then you'll ruin the screen and can't reuse it. As it is at the moment, it's more than usable. Okay? So let's put it to one side. Right. Now, take in from the back. Yeah, see, it's, it's still on. So you want to take off your battery. Back cover off. Battery out. Move that out of the way. You won't need them till later. Right. Two torque screws. One there, one there. Let's take them out first. On the front, just take it off on the bottom. I'll break the housing on this one, but it doesn't really matter because it's only a demo model. Okay, you just want to pull it all off, slide it off, like I say. Then push the screws through that you've left in, or you might lose them one. Two. Okay, put them together. Now, keyboard straight off. There is six screws to remove. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Okay, it doesn't matter what order you take them out, just take them out. Try and keep all of the screws together so you don't lose any. As you can see, it's quite simple. None of it's really difficult. Now there's a little plate here, so you need to remove that. Just like so. Okay? Two more screws to go right at the top. I know sometimes my fingers are in the way. But can't be helped. When you're working. Okay, once that's done, I start here where the charging port is, and with my fingernail, I just go into the side of the frame and push from the back. I just move it along until it comes out. Okay, it does get stuck, so you do have to sort of wiggle it about. Don't be afraid, just pull it off. There's dowels and all sorts of things holding it into place. Okay, 
so you won't need your frame anymore now from here on in it's really easy you just unplug this plug at the top here just use your fingernails again pop it off and the screen should come off obviously some of them are stuck down like I said on our new one you'll find a, a sticker pad here that you have to peel off okay that will stick it down to the motherboard but to be honest you don't really need to do it it doesn't really need to be stuck down because it will hold into place by the screws so you just lay it back down into place like so okay pop that on make sure it's on and then just put it all back together remember to take this protection sticker off as well obviously I'm not going to because uh, there's nothing wrong with my old LCD Okay, once that's in, all the screws need to go back in. You can, you might as well put this little keeper plate in first, because that's the slide underneath, like so. Okay, now, as far as the screws are concerned, any order would do. Once I've got a couple of these in, I'm going to put the battery in and make sure it comes on. Because as we know, blackberries do take their time. Get it right in a minute. the battery and you don't have to do it like this I just want to so I speed up the process okay that won't come on yet because the screws ain't pushing down like I said it doesn't matter what order you put the screws back in Keyboard into place, put your last two screws in. Yeah, as you can see, that's coming up. Okay. Right, well, whenever you put this housing back on, I get asked a lot, and they can't fit it. You have to slide it on. All blackberries are the same. So start at the top and slide it on like that. Then push it down. Okay. As it's roughly in position. While you're around the front, you might as well put your front screen back on. It just sits into place. There's a little grommet at the top here that needs to line up. So, come to the back, put your last two screws in. Okay, so as you can see, that has come on nicely. Like I said, everything's functioning fine. Looks very good. 
and things like that. So, if you do need an LCD, just bear in mind you've got to take your phone apart first. Okay, make sure you've got the right tools, torque screwdrivers. They do vary. Some have got torque fours, some have torque five, some have torque six. Um, you just need to find out which one yours has got and use the right one. Okay, a pry tool or like I said, a spatula will help you get off the front screen. If you can or you have one of these, okay, set it to about 120 degrees. Okay, this is a safety one. You just pop that onto there and that should cut back out. Okay, so it cuts out, doesn't run, since you lift it back off, it starts up again. Okay, now if you haven't got one of these, a hair dryer will do exactly the same thing, it just takes a little bit longer. And all it is, is to help you, obviously, make the, the glue a little bit sort of tacky, if you like, easy to come off. Okay, otherwise you might split the two screens and then it's useless. Okay, now, like I said, if you're interested in changing your LCD on a BlackBerry or any other BlackBerry products, come to SW Box. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.